And so right now, literally, we're 24-7 between visitors and practice and bowl prep. And uh, the good thing is our guys are um, excited. We've had really, uh, really good practices. We'll have another practice tomorrow, then we'll be off Sunday. Um, and then we'll practice again on Monday and Tuesday and travel on Wednesday. Josie, watching uh, Tyler out here throwing and throwing with Nehemiah, what's your what's your policy or how you decide which guys are portal guys that you still that you don't mind still having around? Everybody, you that? yeah, that's a good qu really good question because everybody, I mean, they're they're Red Raiders. There's not one guy that has gone in um, that you know one we didn't expect. We've had great conversations, um, you know, going into the Texas week and coming out of the Texas week, we were preparing for what we we're going to have to do roster wise. Um, and then, you know, I, I look at it as if they're here and they did a lot for this program. They did a lot for me whenever I first got here. And so I always look at it as they're part of this team, and you know, and, and, uh, and they will be. I, I tell every kid that I've ever coached, they're stuck with me for the rest of their life. And uh, there's, I'm a phone call away. And so I, I don't look at it. You know, it's a deal like if, if you ended your career uh, in trouble, if you ended your career maybe in some legal trouble and stuff like that, it might be a little bit different. But if you ended your career and you did it the right way and you came in and sat down with me and explained, you know, your thoughts and everything, then I'm always going to have your back. And I mean, I'm trying to help as many guys as possible find places because there's some guys that thought there would be places and now all of a sudden there's 300, four, I mean, 3,000 or 4,000 guys in the portal, all of a sudden your rankings change of what you expected to be and what you are now. And so I'd look at it that way as they're part of our family. And given uh, the number of portal guys that you have as a, in a receiver room, I think it's six receivers yeah. plus a tight end, what is your th outlook for that group? Not just for the bowl game, but yeah. for next year, how do you feel about that group? I uh, feel really good. I mean, um, if everything goes right December 20th, uh, then we're going to have some really good receivers that are going to be Red Raiders. Um, you know, we have uh, visitors. We've got guys that we're uh, researching. But, you know, we signed uh, DJ Crest and uh, Kelby, uh, Aiden Meeks, um, you know, uh, uh, TJ West. Those guys are really good football players, you know, and, and we're excited about those guys. And then – um, the guys that we have, the vets, I mean, between um, Brady Bond and Lowick and uh, Coy Aiken and, I mean, you know, Jordan Brown, there's a lot of guys that have started a lot of games the last two years. And so you're, it's great for – some guys are going to have great opportunities, you know, and they get to show who they are. You mentioned, you mentioned Lowick, and, of course, it was reported he's in the portal. What's his situation? Yeah, it, with uh, any of the guys I talked to him, I said, hey, I'm whatever ever what you want to do. If you, even some guys actually <clears throat> that were not very far from graduating from Texas Tech, I even told them that we have found a way to make sure that they graduated um, if they wanted to stay. Uh, some of the guys chose not to, and I hate that for them because at the end of the day, football ends, and you're going to have a degree, and it's going to be a little bit harder to get that degree somewhere else when you're 16 hours away or 10 hours away. Um, but I told them, I said, hey, look. If you want to play in the bowl game, you've earned the right to be in the bowl game. Uh, Loic wanted to, and so I was like, you know, hey, it, it's uh, one of those deals that some guys might play a little bit more than you, but I'd love to have you, you know. And, and so he's a guy that's been out at practice. He's been at every practice. And, you know, I still think he's got a decision to make if what he wants to do. As you mentioned, it's the world that we live in now as far yeah. as the transfer portal. But for you, second year, trying to – to get your bearings and, and, and build something out out here, how how aggravating I guess is it for you when you want to have these guys stay for a while and yeah. build that together, and then in a matter of months they could be out. Yeah, it's I mean I just look at it. I always look at it as a portal guy's an injury guy. You know, it's one of those deals. It would be like a long term injury that we don't have, and so um, you know I, I think that we have a great plan. Um, that is one thing I've been giving Blanchard's group a hard time because when they go to lunch, I'll see them walking out and they'll tell me, hey, coach, we're fixing to go to lunch. And I'll go, I guess the portal took a lunch break. Um, you know, and they'll start laughing at me going, no, coach, we're good. We got everything going. But you're talking about a, a group of four with uh, James Blanchard, Brian Nance, Sean Kenny, 
and uh, Jake Pittman, that th those guys are working, I mean, nonstop. And uh, they're going to each position coach and, hey, let's evaluate this guy. And, um, you know, we feel like we have a great plan. And, you know, it's part of it. I think we'll be less and less as, because again, we're fixed to sign somewhere between 22 and 24 high school guys. We signed, uh, I think, 24 last year. And so um, as we build this roster from the ground up, this will be less and less. And um, we hope anyway, you know, but again, it's the nature of the beast. And the tough thing right now is we're playing NFL football without a salary cap or a really knowing what the market value is for certain players, because that's happening right now. You know, and it, I always laugh because uh, there might be somebody that's like this guess of, hey, this kid's getting in the portal, and you see it on social media, and I could probably tell you where he's going to go and how much he's going to get, and he's not officially in the portal yet. And so uh, a, lot of, a lot of dirty business going on right now. Uh, luckily, we haven't really been through that, but I know some teams are going through that right now. Uh, you mentioned the other day you said you wanted to sign or probably would sign six to ten portal guys. Can you yeah. break down by position how yeah. many yeah. Uh, Our, at each spot? Yeah, that's a that's a good question. As far as with us coming in, even before anybody left, our expectation is we were going to sign three offensive linemen. We were going to sign two tight ends. We wanted one receiver. Um, and then on the other side of the ball, uh, we wanted a defensive tackle. Um, we wanted a receive uh, a corner like a true cover corner because we're fixing to lose uh, two older guys uh, we want to try to stay four in that room that we know can go play right now and then best available like now you start looking at well this kid's really good we always are going to look at somebody that can hit the quarterback as an edge guy um, so you kind of go back and forth with that but coming in that was kind of our expectations that we knew this is what we we're going to lose this is what we knew we were coming in with, and that's how we're going to sign the class. You mentioned wanting to bring in another corner. I guess how does uh, AJ McCarty look just throughout the season practice? He, he's looked great. I'm gonna, but he's going to be a star. Um, you know, he, you know, he's played a lot of stuff, and he helps us out scout team wise at corner. But we're going to play him at, at star. So like, if you look at like where we're at right now, and you fast forward it to next year, you got AJ and BJ at star. You're going to have. Uh, Chapman, and uh, I might miss somebody, but probably uh, Marcus Ramon Edwards. And then when you look at the boundary, you got CJ and Jordan Sanford. And so we feel really good there. But it's also if somebody pops up in that position that's really good, um, we've got really, like Jordan Sanford could play corner or boundary safety, so we can move him if there's a really good safety out there. So you're going to play Marcus Ramon Edwards at the three? Yeah, he'll be at the three, yeah. No, no, he gets the, because he had never redshirted, um, he still got two years to play. Yeah. So I guess if you had to project the starting corners for next year, would it be Mo on one side and Braylon on the other? Yeah, Mo and Lux, and then uh, Jalen Peoples doing really well, and then, you know, it depends. I mean, if, if there's a somebody, a better safety than a corner out there, then Jordan could go to corner, and if not, then we'll keep Jordan at boundary safety and we're, you know, look at the corners. And with Jordan, I guess, how do you differentiate how much practice time he's getting at one position versus the other? Yeah, right now he's doing everything boundary safety because, you know, he's number two right now going in the game against Cal. And so we don't want to mess with him at corner. Do you have any thoughts on that proposal of splitting up into a different subdivision where schools could pay the players out of it? Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. I mean, people have been talking about this for a while. I mean, definitely something's got to be done. Like, we have no transparency. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know if there's been anybody penalized for tampering, um, you know, and so there's got to be something done to where there's more transparency in what's going on because it really is the wild, wild west right now. And um, so, you know, it's, uh, the, again, the world we live in, and uh, it's my job to, you know, field the best team that we can and keep developing the young guys. I don't know if you saw this part of it, but the idea is kind of like the schools that put like 100 million Tech is kind of just on below the whole. Do you think Ford needs to be kind of invested into the athletics? Do you think the Eagles are doing enough to kind of compete in this new landscape? Yeah, you, you can't ask for much more than what we're doing. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. But I definitely know that the leadership that we have, if there is a landmark that they set, then that's we'll be there. I mean, there's 
there's no reason to, for us not to be competing at the highest level, whether it's on the field, on the court, financially, we're, we'll be right there. Coach, on the other side of recruiting now, when you have several guys still in the NFL and, and coming out of Tech, what, what does that kind of mean for you to see guys like Sir Roger get taken back to Seattle and, and Schooler and, and, and several others just still playing? It's exciting. We use it a lot, you know. Um, you know, Tyree Wilson's been absolutely incredible for us uh, whenever we're recruiting, and and um, you know he's just the guys that we have. And I have a PowerPoint that kind of shows everything that's going on in the building and everything like that. But we definitely talk about our guys in the NFL, you know. And um, I think that Miles Cole definitely will be a guy that's going to get drafted. Um, I'm excited for to see where Tyler Owens or Malik end up going. Um, I think they'll both, the good thing about both of them, they got really good length and they'll test well, and so that'll move them up. But it, it means a lot. I mean, the more that we have, it's just uh, showing that we're developing guys, but we're also um, can recruit to that to where we'll be able to help you become the player that you want to become. You got time for about two. Hey, uh, back on the gray area, guys are reportedly portal, but you mentioned Matt Peter the other night. What is his situation going? Right he now. see he's not in the portal. Everybody has said that, but Matt Keeler is not in the portal. He's um, our number two left tackle. Um, he is graduates this spring. Um, he is, I mean, he is very serious about. Uh, he, when we talked, he was like, Coach, I want to graduate from Texas Tech, and whenever I get through and I get married, I'm coming back to Texas, and this is where I'm gonna live. I absolutely love this place, and this is where I want my life to be. And so that's been reported, but. Um, Matt is not officially in the portal. So if he's graduating, though, do you expect? He could. You know, there's a couple of guys. I mean, you got to go back. Spring starts it all over again. You know, if uh, Lux graduates in the spring, so he could be a grad transfer. Steve Linton, uh, we're hoping that he comes back. Um, if he does come back, he graduates, and he's fixed to graduate in a couple of days. You know, so he could be a grad transfer. And so uh, the spring kind of starts it all over again. It's a uh, Crazy time in, in college athletics. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, thank y'all.